The Softimage Tune Shader was designed for integration to a cell animation pipeline. So the structure of the shader set resembles the 2D ink and paint process where underneath you've got the paint or the color and fill which resides at the material level and on top you've got an ink which lies on top of it and com is composited over and is applied as a lens shader. Um, the way the lens shader works is it samples your scene and evaluates a number of criteria to determine whether or not to draw an ink line. The, um, can be a little bit confusing because certain parameters reappear uh, in both the material and the lens shader. For example, I've got the material sh shader selected here and uh, we can see there's a spread parameter for the ink and there's also a color parameter for it and if I s uh, select the, the lens shader you can see also that there's a spread parameter and a color parameter for that. So what I want to do is basically start with a general overview of the shader set then we're going to look at a sample scene and uh, try to dissect how you might approach the shading process from a uh, little bit more of like a strategic and planning perspective. By default, Get Material Tune creates a tune paint and host node, which uh, is, is actually almost two shaders. It's a combination of tune paint and tune host. Um, if I look at the parameters under here, I've got uh, quite a number of parameters base, highlight, ref rim lights, ink, seams, transparency, reflection. Um, and if I examine the parameters under tune paint, for instance, uh, we'll notice that I've got a few of these, but I've no um, ink, reflection, or refraction options. Um, similarly, if I examine the um, host node under here, um, I've got ink, seams, transparency, and reflection, but I've got fairly limited uh, options under paint. I've got only one color, uh, whereas under the uh, tune paint node, uh, I've got you know ambient, diffuse, glossy, rim light. Um, generally, tune paint is the one that creates the hard edge tonal boundaries that you know people people often think of when they think of tune shading and uh, it's the tune host you know, that's really kind of responsible for talking to the lens shader and giving you uh, control over the line work um, and if I ever needed for instance to uh, apply a uh, inclines to a conventional shading model I'll probably use a, a tune host node because um, it, it would give me uh, that that would give me full control over the uh, line line work like if I needed, for instance, to say uh, blend between uh, these two these two objects, and uh, I were to wanted to go and um, modify the seams under here, I could do that in the host node of this one. Uh, I could, for instance, increase the spread parameter, and I can go back and I can say um, bump up the occlusion distance to clean up the boundary between it, and uh, so so that that that's one good use for the. Uh, Tune host node. So again, um, tune paint gives you the f control over the fill, and tune host is the one that gives you control over the line work. 